Continuing the video series of treatment and discussion of Norwood Hamilton grade 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In this series, we would be discussing grade 6 and grade 7 Norwood Hamilton. So if you are having a hair loss in which the back of your hair has receded even down from the crown so that a horseshoe shape is left but you still have the humps in the parietal areas it may be grade 6 and if you have those humps also gone only a plain horseshoe area is left then it is grade 7. So in grades 6 and 7 usually when patients come for treatment and planning they come with huge expectations doctor I want to fill my head with hair but it is very difficult to do that and then we need to sit and talk. So we will be discussing all the important points in this video. Continue with me till the end. My name is Dr. Preeti Saraswat. I'm an American board certified hair transplant surgeon and subscribe to channel for further informative videos. Let's say you come to us with grade 6 and we are sitting to discuss the planning and treatment for you. So first of all, we will do the trichoscopy. By the trichoscopy, we know by computerized assessment, how many grafts you have at the back safe donor area. What is the thickness of individual hairs which you have at the back? How many grafts are single haired, double haired, triple haired or above? Then what is the area of recipient site? Then we will calculate calculate how many grafts are available and how many grafts are needed. Also, in grade 6, it's a better option to make the humps and then to go for a long forehead. So, the mid frontal line from where your hairline starts, starts anywhere from 7 to 10 in any person. So, in these cases, we may go for 9 or 10 centimeters from glabella upwards and starting from there, if we join towards both the humps, we would be saving a lot of grafts because we would be making the humps and then we would be giving you the frontal and somewhat mid scalp hair here so as to create a broad forehead and to cover the scalp as much as possible leaving the crown at the back. This would be possible if the quality of hair at the back is good and the hair transplant is feasible. For that, the ratio between terminal to vellus hair should be good and all of us like you and us should be knowing that these hairs are going to last. So for that, maybe we ask you to take medication also for some months or years so that the quality of hairs post hair transplant remains good. Still, if we want to add on more grafts, then we can try the grafts from beard. Beard is of second choice after the scalp. Why? Because here the maximum grafts are single or double head. But the good thing about beard is the thickness of the grafts is more. So beard hair along with the hair at the back can always be mixed and then can be planted towards the back of the hair. It gives good appearance. If you want even more grafts, then by all discussions and taking out the torso donor index of your hair on the body, we would be discussing whether or not it is feasible and then what is the life of these hairs and whether we can take it or not from your chest, from your shoulders and from back. So these areas from which we can harvest grafts for your scalp. So it takes a lot of discussion and mathematical calculation and assessment in order to make a good strategy to cover maximum possible area on the scalp. Please press the like icon and then we'll continue with the treatment planning for last stage which is Norwood Hamilton grade 7. And let us discuss now the grade 7. In grade 7, everything will depend upon the quality of hairs at the back. In trichoscopy, if we find that the hairs are very much vellus and intermediate, then probably there is no scope of transplantation. But if the trichoscopic analysis is good and we see that the terminal hairs are quite a lot, then we can think of transplanting hairs, adding on hairs as we discussed in grade 6, adding on grafts from beard or from torso after taking the torso donor index. And in these cases where the recipient area is far and wide, not only the front, 
and the mid scalp but the crown also and there are no humps also everything is receding down maybe a shield like forelock in the middle starting from higher covering the mid scalp sometimes changes your face frame and looks really really good so performing hair transplant by very limited number of grafts very artistically taking care of everything discussing everything will help us in helping you treat the recipient area combination of fut which is linear excision along with fua may help us in gaining more number of grafts so in cases where the donor area is very restricted it is very compromised we can always take help by these two combinations together along with beard or torso so that we get maximum number of grafts to put and maximum coverage can be done here i would like to suggest to you that if you have very few grafts at the back and you have discussed with your doctor that the number of graft availability is so less that you are not happy with the outcome of hair transplant then you can go for a shaven look also so what we'll do we'll shave off the hair and we will create a hairline also by smp and the rest of the area we will do smp scalp micropigmentation so that it looks as if small hairs are budding out of your scalp and you have shaven them so this is called shaven look or buzz cut to know more about smp procedure you can click the video on above to know more about the management of of grade 4 and 5 baldness click the video on the left and to know more about a testimonial of one of our patients who was grade 6 or 7 click the video on the right